Brookwood gave me an opportunity to do something I never thought I would. Um, family, like Coach Jones says, uh, forget about me, I love you. It means a lot to me because, like I said, I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for Brookwood giving me an opportunity. That tradition, the excellence, uh, the camaraderie, the brotherhood, I think you put all that in one pot, you get a special, uh, you, you get a special combination. So I think in 2010, uh, which was my senior year, Ben McLean was the quarterback that year, had a lot of good guys. Um, coach Jones's father was a coach of mine, so I've known Coach Jones for a long time. So that lineage there is, is strong. But for us to come out and come from a six and six season to a you know 14 and one season is big time. But it was leadership, and that was the. Uh, tradition, the excellence that we pushed and everybody bought in. Um, and this this game is big for me personally because the Kula came to Brookwood two years for us and beat us at home. Bad. So what I tell my guys is to go out there and, and do it for the coaches that came before you. Um, and just play all out, man. Give it everything you got. Every every moment waited is a moment wasted and every wasted moment degrades the clarity of purpose. So we know what our purpose is this year. We're going to go ahead and attack it, and we're going to do it all out. And that's the best way to go. Get 3% better every single day. That's practice. That's the game. Whatever it is, get 3% better. I, I guarantee we'll be where we need to be. Well, my family and I moved to this community when I was eight years old, and I watched Coach Hunter along with my dad and Coach McLean's dad and many of the uh, many of the men that built this program. I watched them build this into a standard setter for the entire state uh, by the way we do things, by um, uh, by the number of championships won, uh, by by the way we play with class, by the way we love each other. So it's the, uh, it's the honor and the thrill of my lifetime to get to lead this program. Brookwood defines excellence, selflessness, humility, um, love for your brother. Um, that's why Brookwood has been able to exceed the sum of their parts in a lot of ways throughout the years because they played together and they played for each other. So we, uh, we're, we're fired up about a big year. We think we've got the ingredients to be successful. Now we just got to come together and make it happen. Third and whatever, we got to get the first down. Why you keep catching crap, bro? I don't know, bro. Um, at Brookwood, uh, we're more about a family. You know, he, Coach Jones always preaches family first. Forget about me, I love you. And I, that's what I really feel like. Like, everything's about football. You want to win, you want to do your best. But I feel like this is one real big family. And I feel like you can play better on the field if you're playing for your brother. I mean, me just getting here in Brooklyn, I treat me like family. It's great. I just see I, these are all my brothers. Well, I think there's a reason so many of us coaches end up coming back here uh, because it is so special. Like, you know, we end up playing here, and then we want to be a part of something that, and they say, you know, first you become a part of it, then it becomes a part of you. And that's true. You can ask any alumni of Brooklyn football why it's so special. Uh, it's because it truly is a brotherhood, and it's great that Coach Jones preaches it that way. And it, it's just different, which I think can make people dislike Brooklyn a little bit, but that's just because they don't understand it. They don't understand what it means and the brotherhood it creates. You're attacking me, Coach. I did not. Come on over here. I did not. That's just uh, hard talking. Brooklyn's. Nah, no, all this going in there. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, don't put me on camera, Cub. <laughs> don't put me on camera. I've been playing here since I was six, so, like, 
13 years. Um, it's been my whole life. I love everything about it. Uh, Brookwood is a school of excellence. They helped my brother get to college, D1, and I'm trying to follow his footsteps. Yeah, I mean, Brookwood football, uh, I think the word, the word for it is uh, family. Um, you know, I graduated here in 08. Um, you know, the bonds I, I, I created and had and, and in high school, I still talk to those guys to this day. Um, 12 years later, um, you know, one of the coaches in the past, you know, they said, you know, when you run into your, your teammates 10 years from now, um, you don't give them a hug. You did it wrong. Uh, it's, it's been where I started kindergarten, and now I'm a senior, and it's been, I've been here my whole life. Um, I've had mentors, leaders all throughout. Um, I'm grateful for every single one of them, and uh, it's really just home for me. Everybody, like, brothers to me here. We all going to take care of each other, play hard for each other. Every opportunity is a championship opportunity. Every practice is a championship opportunity. We don't practice just to get the game day. We practice to be at our best today. So tomorrow we come out, we're only coming out for about an hour because I'm trying to save your legs. An hour to an hour and 15 minutes max. I want to see you all the way locked in. I want to see competitors, guys with chips on their shoulder, dogs who are ready to go prove something in front of the entire state watching you. There's a couple games tomorrow night. We're the third game being played in Georgia high school football. The third. Everybody's going to go home from school on Thursday. And they're going to turn on the TV and they're going to watch the Brookwood Broncos. And they're going to say, hey, I've heard some good things about Brookwood. Let's see how they do. And it's up to you to show them. It's up to you to show them. So what can you control between now and 48 hours from now? You can control your rest, you can control your mental preparation, you can control the attitude which you come out here tomorrow with, and you can control the fact that you're going to understand that your mentality has to be such that you're going to play, at your, that you have to be at your absolute best on Thursday. Don't be like 2017. Don't be like my senior year. My senior year, we won the state championship. You know what we did the first two games? We lost them both because we needed to be humble. 2017, we were state champ we were state semifinals. You know what we did the first two games? We lost the first two games because you know what? We had to be humble. Humble yourself now. Humble yourself now. And grind and earn and lean on each other and love each other and play your ass off for each other. Then look up at the end of the game and find out we didn't do it. Amen? Amen. Talk some regular stuff. No. Oh! Oh, ready, play! Family on three, family on three. One, two, three, family! Here, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Well. All the way. Hey, hey, you hey, 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 you hey, 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 I'm looking forward to playing the Cuba. I used to play over at the Cuba. I know they're going to come play physical, but we got to come play hard and smack them in the mouth. So what we're about. <laughs> right. You right. You right about that. How you, how you feel? Uh, how you feel going yeah, into the game? Drinking the water oh. bottle with no water. Bro, you show me the water with no water. Talk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they going to see me do. They're going to see me catch the ball. I don't got to talk. I've been talking about my guys for the longest because I have faith in every last one of them. Coaches, staff, water girls, cheerleaders, the fans in the stands. But guess what? Get your popcorn ready.
more to go to. One more. Okay. One more. Oh yeah, Jay Dow.
There you go, Denial. Against the Falcons. Oh, 
we had to fight, had to fight some adversity, but we came out with the dub. For the week, we had to shut it down. To coming back to a couple weeks ago, it's been a long off season. A lot of unknowns and a lot of uncertainty. And, uh, and, and it's just been kind of a day to day thing. And one of the things, and I've tried, I've kept this my mantra, and I've told y'all, I think every day, is stay positive, stay in the moment. Stay positive, stay in the moment. Maximize today. All we've got is today. Maximize today. And, guys, this is one win. This is one win. Look, we did a lot of stupid stuff. You're lucky. We did a lot of stupid stuff against a little better team down the road to get us. Personal foul penalty. Really stupid time. Walking to the ref. Lining up off sides and really in a critical down. We gotta win the game. But you guys never flinched a fumble or a missed field goal or an interception. We kept shooting ourselves in the foot. We found a way to score right at the end of the game to send us into overtime. And we got into overtime. I thought we won it five times and I thought we lost it five times. And everything in between. There's something down in here in this team which you're going to draw from all year long about the collective and personal and collective character of this football team. I said, keep it, baby. I ain't ever stopping. Fourth and 20 something? Are you kidding me? Fourth and 20, we throw it to the back of the end zone, and just like the freaking JV game. <laughs> <laughs> your struggles tonight, right? We struggle at times. Let's get, let's put the ball in the 15 to win the game. What are we going to do? We're going to get in Buffalo and we're going to put the ball in Alex's digs and stomach and we're going to go win the freaking game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We said, we said, yes, sir, just a little bit. Oh, it's done fired up. I'm about to go. All right, here we go. We're going to put it in Alex Diggs' stomach, and we're going, to, we're going to win the freaking game. We said let's run two plays, kick a field goal. Alex and the offensive line, that other play. Yes, hey, freaking celebrate. It's not easy to come to the Q and win. That's a good football team. They've won 26 games in the last two years. They've won 26 games in the last two years. You came to their field and beat them. Let's break it down. Let's go. Family on three! One, two, three! Family! Family. 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 Family.